How's it guys, Monash here and today we have Dr. Doom against Abyss of Legends Luke Cage. Now this is a fight that I first tried a couple of months ago, in fact it was just after I explored Abyss and got my rank 3 Doom, because I always thought Doom could work well for this fight just because he can counter the Abyssal ability pretty effectively. But the problem is that he will have class disadvantage and in Abyss that can be a serious issue because the opponents get a lot more stats or benefits from class advantage. And the main one or the most annoying one being that 10% chance to evade which is pretty high. It's enough to mess up your run to be honest. I mean they also get other benefits like increased block penetration, more power gain, the damage cap being 50,000 instead of the usual 85,000. But the extra chance to evade is what messes you up the most if you aren't using an evade counter. So I decided to revisit this fight because I heard a couple of people talking about Abyss Luke Cage in general and just how annoying the fight is and you know the whole intercept thing with Aegon or bringing a champ like Shiok or Stark Spidey with slow debuffs to take care of the intercepting or bring a champ who can intercept quite easily by utilizing some form of miss mechanic like Ghost or Professor X. But I like the concept of using Doom for this fight because he's a champ that most people would bring into Abyss anyway. So at least he is an option that can get the fight done without you having to bring a certain counter for it. Now let's talk about the strategy for this fight because it is a little bit different to the typical Doom fight. Because you do need to slightly tweak your combos just to play a little bit safe so he doesn't evade you. So the first thing you might notice is that I'm just doing 4 hit combos. So it's parry, medium light light and then the heavy attack. And the reason for this is because he can't evade while he's stunned. So those first 3 hits will be pretty safe and then the heavy does actually stun him with the passive stun if he has a shock on him. So it's a pretty safe combo to do just to prevent him from evading. So you just build up your power by doing that and then after you throw your special 3, you're not going to do the usual double medium, triple light, double medium combo. Instead, you're just going to do a medium and then 4 light attacks because once again, that's pretty safe to do since he can't evade while he's stunned. Then after that, you actually want to parry him, then drop a new combo, but this combo is going to have 2 medium attacks and then the special one. So that's pretty much the safest way to get that perfect power steal against Luke Cage after the special 3. Because if you do the usual Doom combo, he does have a chance to evade those last few hits. And that can be really bad because there's a chance that he might evade when he has 3 bars of power. And yeah, that's basically the core of the strategy. Then there's just the usual uh, recommendations when using Doom. Like before doing the special 3, try to make sure he has about 2 bars of power at least so you can get a good power steal after that. Uh, Mystic Dispersion also helps to build a bit more power because he does have buffs. And that's kind of the main reason why... I felt like Doom could work pretty well for this fight is because at least now you don't have to worry about intercepting at all since Doom's stagger will prevent those buffs from triggering and the special one can also nullify them. Now all that being said it's still not a very easy fight with Doom just because there is a bit of RNG involved uh, mainly to do with the AI behavior because this is a fight where you know one evade can mess you up very badly this is a fight where you know if you mistime something you can take a lot of damage you can get stunned and yeah, this is a fight where there's just not a lot of room for error. Fortunately, Doom is a pretty tanky champ, so he does take a few hits without actually dying in this fight, as long as you don't get stun locked or something. And then in terms of AI, the fight can go a lot better if you have a cooperative Luke Cage, who doesn't just like to throw special attacks as soon as he can, but instead plays into your parries and actually gives you a chance to build multiple Fury buffs before throwing that special too, then you can have a much better time or at least do this fight with less items. So just to give you some numbers, I did the first fight and took about 13% from Luke Cage, which isn't the best for a rank 3 Doom, but it's not bad as well. I would say it's more realistic or more practical, however you can get it down to about 20% of a fight, you know, if you play very well and, you know, have some good AI and can actually use up all your hits. Because I did do this fight twice today and in the first fight I got him down to 90% in about 130 hits, so that's about halfway through the fight and I took 10% health. It's just that I died soon after that, so I wanted to try again. But unfortunately in this fight, it wasn't actually that much longer than the previous one. So I only got him down to 13% with about 20 hits left. But also this just wasn't a great fight. Um, I guess not a very good example because I just couldn't play as aggressively as I would have liked to. I was throwing a lot of special 2s with only one fury because he just wasn't cooperating the way I would have liked him to. So I was just throwing the special 2 just before that one fury would expire. Although ideally you do want to throw it after you have two Furies. And maybe I would have done more damage if I used the special 3 instead of the special 2 with one Fury. Because the special 3 at least just counts as one hit. So I could have done a lot more hits if I just used it more. 
but I just wanted to get across the idea that Doom can actually work for this fight. He might not be the best counter, but he's still pretty effective, especially if you want to bring another champ for it. Because I remember when I did this fight with my 5 star Aegon on path 4, with no prior ramp up, it took me 8 revives. And if I did play flawlessly, then it probably would have taken me 6, so not much better than a rank 3 Doom. In fact, I think if you play perfectly with the rank 3 Doom and have good RNG and all that, you can get it down in 4 revives. And with a 5 star, probably 6. Maybe 5, but 6 is more realistic. And obviously I'm not boosted or running any synergies, and this is not a bad fight to boost on because it can be quite annoying. So in terms of mastery setup, this one isn't too specific. All I really recommend is running max limba like for most of this fight, so in case you do get stunned, you can at least have a chance to survive it and not just get comboed into oblivion. And then you can also run mystic dispersion. Doom doesn't really need it, although it is quite nice to have because he is going to be gaining buffs quite regularly in this fight since he does have the indestructible from his sig ability and the unblockable and unstoppable from his abyssal ability. So yeah, not the perfect run, definitely could have been a lot better but after the second attempt I just couldn't be bothered to keep on trying. So yeah, that's going to be it for this one, I hope some people do find it useful but as always thank you for watching, have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.